judgments, judgments, Robert Trice. Have you ever made judgments about someone or something? Or even worse, has someone made judgments about you? <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I'm reminded of a story of a second grade teacher, Mrs. Allison. Mrs. Allison one day asked her class, what color is an apple? Oh, yes, Mary. Red. You're right, Mary. Billy. Yellow. Yes, yellow is one of the colors. Susan. Green. Thank you, Susan. As she's about to move on in the back of the room, slowly raising his hand, her poor student, Johnny. Not today. Not Johnny. Yes, Johnny. White. Johnny. Apples are red. They're yellow. They're green. But they are not white. But Ms. Allison, yes, they are. Look on the inside. That day, Mrs. Allison learned something from the one person who was her slowest student. I, in my lifetime, have also made some judgment calls about people. Once I was working in Long Beach, and on my way to work one morning, I stopped the 7-Eleven in Cosman. And sitting outside the 7-Eleven, or a pair of shoes completely covered in garbage. I expressed my disdain, walked inside the 7-Eleven, made my purchase, and when I came back out, there was a guy sitting there putting on those shoes. You see, he worked on the garbage truck. He was so considerate that rather than tracking garbage inside the convenience store, he left his shoes outside. But my judgment was those shoes belong to a homeless person, not an individual so considerate. On another occasion, I was working at Hughes Aircraft, and there was a custodian there who had a rather grumpy disposition. And on his right side, he had limited use of his limbs. And on his left hand, he wore a glove. The glove was well worn on the outside. So now he had turned the glove inside out and was wearing a well worn glove on his hand inside out. I made my judgment call. After a couple of weeks, I just couldn't stand it any longer. And so I had to ask him, why in the world are you wearing a glove on your hand inside out? He said, you see, when I was a kid, I had cerebral palsy. And I was stand at the window and look outside and, and watch all the kids playing and wish that, that I could be out there playing with them. But because of the, the way I walk, I couldn't go outside and, and, and play. So now, finally, I'm able to wear something. <laughs> but I 
made my call about him. Things are not always what they seem. Mrs. Allison had an opportunity to learn from the person that was her poorest student. And she had asked that question for years, only to finally find out that there was another color she had never considered. And what if I had not seen that man outside putting on those shoes? I, like many others, probably would have said those shoes belong to some inconsiderate homeless person. And oh, the old crotchety custodian. What can I say about him? How many employees there never asked the question that I did? They had made their judgment. They had their first impression. But you see, we are confused. It's not a first impression. It is a lasting impression. The idea that you have about somebody. People have made judgment calls about me. And I never had an opportunity to explain. And they've done it to you. And you've done it to somebody else. So I tell you now, the next time the opportunity presents itself and you have a chance to right the wrong, you take an opportunity to look on the inside because that's where the heart is.